All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. This month's monthly market report. And we're in the month of November 2022, focusing on Clay County, Duval County, as well as St. Johns County. As always, the material is gonna be pre presented from Northeast Florida Association of Realtors, otherwise known as NEFAR. And I'm Reed Hawkins, a licensed real estate agent with Watson Realty Corp. So let's go ahead and dive right into the material. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you'll be sure to see more videos just like this. So let's go ahead and dive right into the details. Uh, our monthly median sales price for the month of November in 2022 is $376,500. So that is up 7.7% .7 compared to last November and is actually down 2.2% compared to October of this year. So what you're seeing is the prices has steadily increased, but they are starting to level out here, uh, you know, judging off the statistics off of uh, November. The closed sales has on, been on a steady decline. It's actually down 45% compared to last November and down 30% compared to last month. The median days on market has been on a steady uprise. It is at 43, the median days on market is at 43 days, and that is actually up 20% compared to last October, or this past October. It is actually up 126% compared to last November, where it was just 19 days. So no longer are the days of houses flying off the shelf, people waiting in line to get into the open house, and houses sitting on the market for less than a day, they are sitting, it's more of a healthy, more balanced market that we're seeing now. An interesting statistic is the closed over list price statistic. This has been on a steady decline and you're actually only seeing 12.6% of homes closing over the listing price. Now this is 64% down compared to last November and 9% down compared to this past October. So what this is showing basically, no longer the days of um, buyers submitting an escalatory clause to go you know, submit an offer over the list price or waiving appraisals. Those days are pretty much long gone. The new trends that we're seeing nowadays are things such as interest rate buy downs so if you're unfamiliar with what an interest rate buy down is, is basically if you agree to a 7% interest rate with your lender, they offer an incentive to buy down the rate. Um, for example, you could do a 2-1 buy down where you buy the rate down 2%. So in the first year, you actually start at a 5% rate. Second year, it'd go to the 6%. And finally, third year, you'd be back at that 7%. Um, you know, the idea here is that hopefully in that third year, rates have come back down, you can refinance and get a more desirable rate. So that's one of the new trends we're seeing with this current market. A uh, couple other quick facts. The price per square foot has been on a steady up incline, just like the median price. It is up 11% year over year, but down 0.5% compared to last October. So again, kind of a leveling off here in the prices. And one of the most interesting statistics to me is the monthly supply of inventory. This is a great indicator of supply. This has been on a steady uprise and is actually, we're actually at four months of supply of inventory. Now, just to show how crazy that is, that is up 340% compared to last November, uh, where we were just at 0.9 months of supply. So supply has continued to tick up and up and up. And, um, you know, this is, I think, a little more healthy, um, but technically we still are in a seller's market. So if you would like to have uh, a more detailed report or specific report for your neighborhood, please feel free to call, email, or text me. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.